the results match the uh you know how we feel i suppose we we um we didn't do what we wanted to do i thought friday was uh you know a step backward in in a couple ways but um both good teams we definitely were better on saturday i mean we held we were right there uh we actually i think defensively um and serving wise did exactly what we needed to do to beat grand valley there were large parts of that match where we were uh either in control or you know going point for point i thought our service game really gave us a chance um and there were a couple stretches where we played uh some pretty good defense um but grand valley is an exceptional team that knows how to finish and they have uh, a lot of experience on that side of the court too and we're a team right now that's learning how to use their abilities and talents uh, consistently and apply them consistently enough to be, become that, you know, consistent and able to finish. Uh, winning, I think, is a, a skill, and this group is still learning how to do that. We're clearly good enough to beat very good teams. Uh, if you remember the beginning of the year, we actually cracked the top 25. Um, we just are a team also that is still learning the ropes. You know, on the road at Wayne and Grand Valley this time of year is um, – you know, a difficult part of our schedule. And to come out of the crossover, we, you know, it was a test of how we were going to handle it, and we didn't handle it the way we wanted to. Beautiful part is uh, we have a lot to look forward to uh, this week, beginning with uh, Northern on, on Wednesday. Uh, senior week, three home matches, beginning with Northern on Wednesday. Um, if we can't be up for that you can't be up for anything and i know that we will be so i know that the consequences of uh any win and loss going forward is uh it's it's impact and it has an impact i think the team is aware of that i think that we're going to take it one match at a time and know that every time we win it's uh, what we want to do and it's going to help our standing and is every time we lose it's going to you know make it more challenging we're and not in a bad position we're still fighting for a home quarterfinal match you know and um, you know an opportunity to continue our postseason as long as we can yeah and we only play them once this year the way the schedule kind of works out it was uh, disappointing for sure look their offense is very good they they swept northern the next night um they have an, uh, a middle hitter that is uh, the real deal and they're I have an outside who's the real deal, a uh, home for them, far trip for us, good, they, it's just good teams. And I don't think we matched up very well on Friday night. You know, our, look, we didn't put ourselves in a position to win regardless of the matchup. We just were not ourselves that night. And I think that, um, if anything, I'd like to play them again just to, to play a better outcome kind of aside. Uh, very, you know, um, very much so. Uh, being at home in the varsity gym here at Tech is – uh, just something I've I've loved, and some of this team loves, and the um, the pep band and the support has all just been, uh, and it's always amazing. It's um, but when you play Northern, it just it just adds to the excitement. You know, uh, it's a it's a great uh, battle every time, as we we've seen before. So, um, it's I guess it's helpful to be able to have that to look forward to right away. But look, we we're looking forward to this match on Wednesday. You know, all along. Uh, at the end of the f second set, if we win that one, uh, it changes everything. So we just got to be a little thicker skinned in how teams uh, battle back and forth with us. Um, but look, when we push back, uh, we'll go back to the Finley game. Um, we, we're a pretty tough team to beat. So uh, I think all things go out the window with this Wednesday match against Northern. I think that it's always going to be a battle regardless of circumstances and teams and rosters and all these things. So we just gonna, we're just going to take it one, one point, one set at a time. Yep. You know, no team is, it's funny. Um, this time of year going forward, no team or no player is feeling their best. And, but we're expected to play better than, you know, our opponents. So it's like, you know, I, I think that it's every team is going through that same, same piece and same battle. And, uh, you know, we're just going to play uh, as sharp as we can and really focus on doing all, I guess, the little things and, um, uh, uh, well, especially if we're kind of grinding a little bit the way we feel. Yeah, no, we have we have a mix of seniors that have you know really contributed in in a huge way and in different ways. Um, and like I said, with a lot of seniors, uh, but you know, this group has made such an impact that is going to be felt you know well beyond their their time here. 
and you know we play every season to honor our seniors and this weekend and this week starting tomorrow uh, will be uh, you know for, for them and uh, without them we're not where we are uh, they're good they're they can beat anyone uh, as they've demonstrated so far this year Parkside got us down there uh, in five one we certainly would like back so uh, looking forward to, to that one but um, two teams in the GLIAC that are capable of beating anyone that are right there in the standings and that um, I think uh, the league expects um, you know a battle with every time, with only 11 teams and kind of similar to last year where you know a lot of the two through nine or three through nine whatever you know they're all kind of beating up on each other. It's going to be tight. I think that seems to be you know the pattern in the GLIAC these last couple of years in volleyball and maybe other sports too. But um, as you get into this latter half of the season, it's it makes it exciting. I mean, every team is – and it's not just – there's no pattern there. A two loses to a seven and the other way around uh, the next time. It's just um, – it, it's just as big to our, our conference. It's kind of like, uh, you know, a midweek home match against Northern is just an awesome way to, you know, spend a part of your week. I don't know, right? It's kind of like a added bonus. I, I think, if anything, it's um, – if you're going to have a abnormal week, this is the one you want three home matches uh, against teams that uh, are going to be uh, exciting and, and have a, you know an exciting match. Um, there is uh, everything in front of us, what we have to, to, to look forward to on Wednesday for sure.